it's one of, if not the coolest thing that we've yeah, sort of ever great. done in all of our travels. You can just sense, you can just feel like... That, that they are happy. Yeah. yeah. This is just a typical day playing with elephants. <laughs> <laughs> you look great. Welcome to paradise. <laughs> Today I feel like the luckiest girl in the world because Danger has organized the most amazing surprise. We get to spend the whole day with elephants. <laughs> if you've seen our video on our top 12 things to do in Chiang Mai, our favorite thing is visiting the elephant sanctuary. Uh, so today we're super stoked to partner with Elephant Jungle Sanctuary and do a full day tour. Yeah, and the reason we've come back is because, um, first of all, as you can probably tell, I freaking love elephants. And the second reason is because we kind of want to show how important it is to come to a sanctuary versus, yeah. say, like, say, like riding, riding elephants. Riding elephants and everything. Yeah. We'll share more on that, but basically we've just spent an hour and a half. We're now just arrived at the sanctuary. We can see the elephants. We're going to walk in uh, and take you along for the journey. Let's go. So we just had a bit of a briefing um, up there and now it's straight into feeding them some sugar cane. One, two, three! Bon, bon! Okay. <laughs> Big one's coming for us, babe. Bon, bon! <laughs> yes, there we go. day pretty much starts off as like an all-you-can-eat buffet for these guys they bring out a bus a basket like this which is just full of sugar cane and you hold them in their little pouch here and they walk up and they know that you've got them in your pouch and so they're putting their trunk in trying to grab them out I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> See? I'm <laughs> I gotta prove it to him. I've got nothing left. Oh, I'm sorry, no. dude. Female elephant. Yeah, Asia elephant, yeah. Female elephant. Ah, tusk, the small, small tusks. Tusk. Yeah, yeah, small tusks. You can see the difference there. This one's got some tusks, so that's one of the males, which is crazy to think because when I look at actually the whole herd that we've got here, they're pretty much all females except for maybe two in this group. Three years ago this elephant jungle sanctuary started and at that point they had only one elephant. Now, yeah, three three years later they've got 82 elephants and they've got uh, nine different camps spread out. And I think they've just opened up in um, Phuket as well. So we thought we were getting bananas, but it looks like we're just being put to work and um, <laughs> <laughs> grabbing some sugar cane and taking it back down to the elephants. So that they can chop it up and feed them more. Yeah, yeah, can yeah. you remember how much I said that they eat per day? Um, so three. 300. 300 kg. And 120 litres of water. 120 litres of water. That's so, that, insane. so that's why you can see in the background <laughs> all these people are put to work. <laughs> <laughs> How many is this guy taking? What are you doing? Baby. Where? Babies? Oh wow, small. they're so small. Awesome. I think that one's I think he said that one of them is seven months and one of them is one year. Right, that would must be the two there. The smallest oh one must God, be the baby guy. So cute. <laughs> <laughs>
the elephants come from? Okay, local. Right. Okay, local people they own this elephant. Why local people they have elephants? Because before, as everyone knows, no car, no machine. You know, right. people from countryside they have no machine. They don't have good condition road. So they use elephant helping work. Like to put them to work. Yeah, yeah. put their work. This elephant, yeah, passed down. Passed down from yeah. generation to this generation. So right now, yeah, we have no habitat. You know, we have no forest. Yeah. This generation, they don't need to use elephant anymore. They have no budget to pay elephant food. So they have to sell it to so the They other. eat so much. Yeah. yeah. So this elephant, you know, we coming uh, to helping local people. Okay. Ah, uh, elephant happy. Local also have job as well. Yeah. Ah, okay. uh, not only uh, elephant get benefit, also community here get mm. benefit as well. We ask community grow food for us. Yeah. Call, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, we ask them grow for us. Yeah. We also share job to community. Wow. Right now, community el elephant love each other. Yeah. You know, elephant. They are very gentle, they are very smart. If you take care with love, you take care the way elephant like, elephant trusts you, yeah, elephant yeah. happy with you. So everybody really should do their own research about elephant tourism and Thailand in particular still makes, you know, there still is a tourism industry around riding of elephants, but one thing that we want to say and like the, why these sanctuaries exist is to share more information about why you shouldn't really ride the elephants. It's not really the best treatment of them, they're definitely not made for it. Um, and there is some procedures that are not, are not great that apparently will sort of break down an elephant to make sure that they're like subservient and that they will that they will be used for those labour jobs and everything. And we won't go too much into it, but all we can highly recommend is that if you do come to Thailand, we yeah we highly suggest that you visit a sanctuary and that you don't go for the riding of elephants at all regardless like the experience that we get on a day like today actually getting to touch them and feed them and have photos with them and get up and close is so much more rewarding than sitting on top of something anyway so our experience but definitely do your own research if you do plan on coming to Thailand and if you do think that riding of elephants is a good thing how are you enjoying it so far? Oh, I love it. The baby ones are so naughty, but they're so cute. They are so good, eh? Love them. This is honestly like, it's so, this is one of those experiences that's really difficult to capture on camera because it is just... Because I keep disappearing to play <laughs> with the elephants. Yeah, that definitely helps. No, yeah. it's like, it's honestly guys, it's, 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 it's one of, if not the coolest thing that we've yeah, sort of exactly. ever done in all of our travels. Just to be that close to something that is so big. Yeah, like you're not supposed to be that close to them. Yeah, it feels that way. And yeah. the thing is as well, it would mention they are so happy. Yeah. They're getting fed so well. They're so perfectly looked after. Tourists come in every day and feed them and Ooh, yeah, just show them like it. nothing but love. And you can just sense, you can just feel like... That, that they are happy. Yeah. yeah. They're genuinely really happy. This is just honestly such a cool... An amazing experience. So anyway, so we've we've just hung yeah, out with the babies. Group was off yeah, second group. So now we're gonna we're walking apparently to the the oldest the oldest ones. Yeah. Fifty five years old. That's crazy. I'm expecting it to be very large. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Want to go and stand over there a little bit for scale? <laughs> no, you have to get closer. You look the same size. Wow, you are so small. It's so peaceful, isn't it? Like yeah. they're just like roaming around, happy. I can see someone else who's happy as well. <laughs> Elephant trainer happy. <laughs> so, Elephant happy. So the biggest one, which is your wonderful one? Ah, this. Uh, well, she's gone. She's gone. She ran away. Over there. Yeah. So the the big one, the 55 year old, this one here. Uh, I think you said his name is Ma Bunsi. Ma Bunsi. And that is, that's um, the trainer there. That's his his elephant that's been passed down from generations and generations. It's 
such a such a small world here <laughs> we've just met a subscriber who is actually here today because he watched um, he saw our top things to do in Chiang Mai video which is super cool anyway we are just walking back now uh, it's time for lunch the morning has gone so fast it sort of happens when you're like running around smiling happy playing chatting learning about them all uh, so I think we're heading back to where we first came in and they're gonna put on a big spread for lunch and then I think after that we get to go and bathe them and and yeah spend a bit more time actually playing are they are they scratching there yeah, scratching. it's a scratching pole yeah sometimes they're itchy scratch <laughs> So we've just finished up our lunch and next we are going to be making some medicine for the um, for the elephants which I have a feeling is just like the leftovers from our lunch that we <laughs> mash up um, for them but apparently it's got like loads of vitamin C which is good for their digestion and yeah let's go find out I don't really know what's going to happen. <laughs> no we don't have no idea we just know that they want to eat again. Yeah. They eat a lot this for this swallow very really quick. Maybe they choose one, two, three, four, one, two. This one, tamarind. Okay, tamarind. You know tamarind? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a pineapple. Tamarind food is good, like a digestion. It's it becomes mean every minute easy because they're very easy to swallow. Alakan love this very much, okay? Like if you give them yeah, something Alakan love, Alakan likes people. So we've made the we've made the medicine, which is basically just like a mixture of things that are like help with their digestion for the most part. It's just whatever's left over from lunch. <laughs> yeah, into these massive balls, and now we're going to go and feed them. Apparently, we, when you feed them with this stuff, you actually rather than just giving it to their trunk, I think we put it into their mouth. Yeah. So you say bonbon, bon, which you would have heard like yelled out multiple times in the video. And I think they put the trunk up, and we're going to put them in. The reason I've got no shirt on, which is probably a little bit weird, I should have started with that, <laughs> is we're about to go and jump into the mud spa. Up, oh. bon bon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got my half a hand with it. <laughs> bon bon. Bon bon. Woo. So as you can see, this is the mud spa. I'm gonna go and tip them over and then use the mud to like exfoliate their skin. How is it? It's absolutely freezing and about that thick in mud, so your feet like a. <laughs> Right. Welcome to This is such a fun day. <laughs> it's so cool. Everyone's just like smiling and laughing and the guides and everything are so awesome. So I just have, I, I've had a smile all day long, eh? Yeah, it's been so good. It's, it's funny because I, I did this for Stace, but obviously <laughs> it's pretty clear that I'm loving it as well. Oh, one more time, one more! So we just ended up feeding them again basically, just grabbing more, more bamboo, more sugar cane, more for them to eat. It's 
been a really nice pace of the day. It's been super busy and then there's moments like this that we're just literally, everyone's just standing around, just chilling, just basically we're just watching them eat here. Again, at their buffet. There's sort of, there's no agenda, we're just sort of standing around and just taking it in. Oh, this guy's, this guy, okay, he's putting on a show. So I'm sure by now you've heard us say about 400 times that we're having the best day ever, so we don't have to tell you again. Um, but yeah, if you if you are coming to Chiang Mai, we highly recommend um, coming oh. to Elephant Jungle Sanctuary because yeah. it's just it's got the best mix of everything. It's such an incredible experience and such a fun day. So yeah. anyway, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the comments. Bye. Bye.